Hello everybody, um, I'm just going to verify that I am in fact recording. Um, welcome back to another episode of the Stampy Up App Tutorials. I am voluntarily retaking this episode because I think I can do a few things better. Um, and more just because, you know, why not get the best result, you know what I'm saying? If you can, if it's an option, it might be painful as hell, but sure enough it's going to be worth it. Okay, so for this terrain here, we're going to start off with Gregory's trees. We're going to have this two, two section. And then here we're going to have one, two, three, four. This is going to be one, two, three. Then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With a block right there. Then we can pretty much just fill this terrain in. Like uh, this. Uh, okay. And it doesn't look like there's any trees on this section from what I can tell, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to grab out uh, some oak logs. Uh, poppy, torch, sign, and there's something else. I'll we'll figure that out. <laughs> um, no, it's fine. Okay, it should be fine. We'll see. Oh, no, and uh, oak planks. That was it. Okay, so we're going to come to the second block here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one here is where the we're going to place an oak pla uh, an oak log just because it kind of marks out the tree because it's going to grow, but you guys can put a sapling here. We're going to place poppies kind of around this tree, then we're going to go one, two, three, uh, either side. And then you might think that the grave is like on these two blocks, but technically it goes down, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. Uh, and actually... We don't, I don't know if the bottom ones here have been changed. I don't think it'll matter because of the wheat room and stuff. But I do know that those are changed because you can kind of see when the wood is there like that. Uh, and then he kind of covers this up really weirdly. He kind of does like too deep like this. Um, so that's how that goes. We're going to have a torch, which is going to go here. And then a sign that's going to say capital R dot capital I dot capital P. Uh, third line down, Gregory, uh, open bracket, the dog, close bracket. Okay, that's Gregory's grave. Speed run done. <laughs> um, I say speed run, probably shouldn't be. Uh, okay, so then next thing we're going to do is we're going to break out the bed. I'm going to keep hold of that. And we're going to place our torches basically missing out the ends blocks here so like actually that one that side does have one they do have one on like this end here but missing out like this end kind of here and then the same thing is gonna apply to this wall uh, here like this that crafting table stays we're gonna grab out a chest which is gonna be placed here and then there's gonna be a uh, another chest I believe it's there I just need to pop on the inside and have a, a quick peek yes it is I don't think both of these chests have any contents that need doing not not that i know of cool okay so then in here the torches are a little bit wacky so that's kind of cool uh okay so we're gonna we have torches already i'll do the beds quickly actually because i know where these go so the bed over here goes on the like second glass so we've got this it's gonna go there and then we're gonna have this second bed so line it with this left hand side door then we're gonna go this way and place it right there now, as for these torches, we're going to place one um, diagonally to the left of this, and then two above the door, and then kind of make this little uh, arch pattern here. Uh, this one's just going to have torches that go on the left and on the right, kind of like up like this, so the arc pattern kind of gets broken on this side. And that's basically the entrance room done. Now, storeroom, storeroom, this is going to be fun. This is kind of more like the ballroom at this point, if you ask me. Um... But hey ho, it's, it's going to be okay, okay? Um, nobody believes me. Insert cricket noises. Uh, anyway, so this is going to get torn out like uh, so. We're going to have sandstone pretty much in here. I think these actually get stayed as oak. I want to actually quickly check just because I actually don't know if I did that in the last take. Uh, just those three uh, as oak. Actually, not really. It wouldn't be all of those three. My bad. So this one would be uh, sandstone there, and uh, I will probably quickly check that other one actually just whilst I'm there, just the, the, the final one. I think it, I think it did also make it sandstone, but we'll we'll have a, a look. No, that one is actually oak. Okay, 
So we might as well just keep this as it is then. Uh, so we're going to bring this up around like this. Now we have to change the back because this is t this this side here is 20 and this side here is 18. Now the storeroom needs to be 18 by 18. So we need to rip out the back like this. Uh, same for the 19th layer, which will be this one here. And then here, we're going to kind of just uh, put the chests, uh, mine out the chests and then replace them with sandstone. And of course, kind of make it more like this. And then, yeah, I'm going to probably just mine out these blocks just because they're going to really bother me. There we go. Okay. So now what we can do is I'm going to grab out a chest here and then we're going to build on top of these. We're going to do a four by four kind of wall here like this. We're going to mine out a 2x2 two two in there, placing chests like that. I actually need to get a ladder because I've forgotten. Also a trap door, which is right there. Uh, not too uh, difficult to get. People keep giving me notifications on oh my days. Um, and then, of course, we're going to put one just facing towards where the farm area is going to go. More on that area later in the video, actually. Uh, okay, now then. Uh, how does the wind okay no that's fine all right so now uh we're gonna just probably place in blocks about the door uh kind of do the same thing except this one's gonna be technically five by four because we need to build that over and then literally the same thing that we just did on that side we're gonna do here okay now then let's do the chest so we're gonna have two here single chest uh sandstone double chest this is like the pattern for most of this uh like this and then I believe some of these, yeah, this one is backwards. So we're going to come in and face where the crafting room would go and place them like that. Then we're going to have a double chest like that, a block here. Then we're going to have a chest that faces this way. So like you place it obviously on that side. We're going to grab out a door, mine out this block here and place a door in there. And then we're going to have another chest which faces this way. So when you obviously open the door, you've got like chests facing you on each side. Um, then we're going to place just the kind of general uh, pattern in like this. And I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing hor horrendously major, which there is with one of these chests. It's this one here. This one actually faces to the behind like that. Uh, behind. Well, I'm just kidding. Um, this is going to face, there's going to be like a chest right here. That's going to face backwards. There's going to be a uh, double chest there. And then I think that one faces the correct way yes it does um, and then after this single one so we've got the single double single there's gonna be a double door uh, right here let's place that in yeah I'll just open it up because why not uh, then we're gonna have a single double single like that okay now then let's do the signs would probably make most sense thinking about it um, so we're going to do one over here, which is going to say sand. Uh, yes, okay. As I said, most of this is just fresh in my head because I've just done this. So this is going to be sandstone, glass, and uh, wool. Like over here, so this is going to be sandstone. Oh. Uh, glass and uh, wool spelt W H O oh, uh, not like that uh -huh. W H O O L because Stampy is dyslexic and doesn't actually know how to spell, which is true. I'm not I'm making fun of him, I promise. Um We're gonna do a complete 180 and on the single chest on this side. Now, this is the thing that you guys need to really kind of figure out what you want to do, because the thing is, right. When, the, when Stamp moves the world to better, I mean, this won't really matter this early on because, of course, things change like science and stuff. But when Stampy moves the world to bedrock, his signs go from being like this more to this. So they move up a line. Now, that wasn't like a, a cringy plug for you guys to subscribe or anything totally, but I'm just saying, like, that's kind of how. They, they raise up. So any sign through this tutorial series, if you are building this on console, I will more than likely, in my reference, I will more than likely have them on the second line. However, 
when I'm typing them out in this world, they will be on the first line, just because it'll be kind of easier for uh, just general kind of things for when you guys move it to uh, to bedrock. So it's up to you guys, but I'm going to do this on the, on, the, on the first line. So this says ponies, P-O-N-I-E-S with a capital P. Uh, that's how you spell ponies, fun fact. Then this next one is on the right hand side of the chest. Now this is souls with a capital S, of no capitals, my no capitals, enemies no capitals. So it's like that. Then the next one, I believe, yes, the, the funny, the funny 2012 jokes, women's rights. Uh, what have I just typed? Women's, no, it doesn't have a capital, uh, my bad. Uh, oh crap, <laughs> my controller didn't just drop. Women's rights, have I spelled that right? Yeah, women's rights, okay. Then I think it skips one, and of course the iconic Stampy talent. Uh, which is going to go right here. Stampy with a capital uh, S and apostrophe. Um, Stampy's talent, like that. And that chest is empty. So I'm not going to do chest contents for the old storeroom. I'm going to do them when the new one is a thing, or at least show them. But for the old one, I'm not really fussed so much. So let's do the glass and like the actual size of the storeroom. So the glass is going to go on every wall. Uh, kind of like how I'm doing on this one, except there's not going to be like a, a block here, like how it would be regularly. It's going to be like the glass is just the glass is going to be in full swing around every nook and crevice of this place, and very janky with like blocks here. Look at look how I'm just glitching through. There we go. Okay, it's a bit better, isn't it? I don't know. That's like one thing that does bother me with Java is the fact that you can't even go up a pixel when you're flying. Or well, with console edition, kind of had like the slab mentality where. If you were at a certain point in the block, it would just raise you up. But in this one, not so much. I do also want to get a texture. Like I'm using a lot of resource packs. Like let me show you one little thing. I don't know if you heard it, but my guy just went. Ooh, I just got hurt right there. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna try and find a texture pack that gives me like the full block chests. Uh, just because I think it would be cool. Oh uh, yeah, and on top of these uh windows, by the way, you just want to do two sandstone, uh, kind of like this. So I'll just build this along, same thing with this, and then I'm going to grab myself uh, a world edit wand. I am using Legacy Forger, I don't know, I think I've said that, like, I said it in the last one, but I'm not sure how much I actually went into detail on this. Um, so we're going to grab out a wand, we're going to select that, we're going to select that, and then we're going to do slash slash set sandstone. Now, I know that in the videos, Stampy doesn't have this fully complete in episode 7, however, uh, can I really be bothered to go out and get it all like properly accurate when it's gonna be finished in the next episode? Not really. Um, it's not something I care to do specifically. Okay. So now I'm actually gonna get the wand back. Uh, I'm not really gonna work on this until probably the last thing I do in the video, but I still wanna kind of get this in. So where this kind of is here, so we've got this like little uh, four square of gra uh, snow and then we've got these two grass here uh, we're going to cut this entire hill uh, from here so I'm just going to come like to around about here and go down to about here and just do slash slash cut and that is the cutoff point for this entire kind of area so of course break the snow if yours is fallen like mine did that block's gonna go, and then we're gonna do um, to, like diagonals to the right of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. There we go. Let me just make sure that I have built that to the correct point. I have good, good, good. Okay, now I want to kind of loop back to this area at the end just because I think the love heart will be like a kind of nice heartwarming ending to the, the episode <laughs> if heartwarming is a term you would really use there okay right here oh one thing I nearly re forgot to do because I actually forgot to do this and then did correct it in uh, the previous take of this so this snow patch here that you'll see I forgot about this but in episode 6 of course like with the beds he couldn't really sleep that well because of the mobs and stuff and because 
he'd done a lot of work off camera for the house and stuff like it had snowed in this area and that snow had covered up all this now i did have this in my episode six reference world but because like i did it in the first take of the episode six thing remember i obviously had to retake the full episode um i wasn't even rushing to do that like it was actually kind of a good uh, retake i was really happy with that it didn't feel forced to me whatsoever so that was good uh but i did kind of forget about that even though i did do it in the first take of that so kind of ironic i guess <laughs> okay so now that that's done let's loop back around into the storeroom and do this and of course i've got old door textures basically everything's old that's basically like the same sound i think but you know uh, well, the same sound as it was, like, as the door is even. Not, like, not the same sound as, as the chest are now. So, one block uh, diagonally from the door, we're going to have a, uh, a torch. We're going to grab out a, uh, wherever they are, oak stair. Place that there. We're going to have a ladder, which is going to go like this. And then we're going to bust out these blocks like this. Now then, this block here, this dirt here, we're going to keep as dirt. We're going to mine out... Uh, to the right of that and place in our um, oak so we're going to place three oak here like this this one's going to be um, oak as well and then we're going to uh, obviously mine out this a little bit and then I didn't want to break that but oh well and then we're going to have one two three oak going up like this and then basically put two torches uh, on either side of that okay and then we also want a door uh door question mark oh, here they are um we also want a door that goes did i just place a ladder there skillius uh like that okay now then i'm gonna grab out grass and a torch i'm gonna mine out this for now uh that will be uh grass actually so i'm gonna mine that to be grass and then we're gonna bake bake <laughs> we're gonna make a two block sidewalk which is going to come down to here. We're going to have a torch right there. And it's going to come down to here. We're going to make it two blocks wide as it should be. And then this block here we're going to kind of cover up. We're going to have a torch one block away from that. Uh, three blocks away. So basically one diagonal from the stone. It's kind of like a smiley face. The eyes and the big mouth. I guess. Imagination people. Um, and then here we're going to have a staircase going up to the farm. So place two here. So we're not going to fill these in. That's like the kind of key here, so make sure you don't fill them in. So we're going to have two like that, uh, two like this, and then of course mine out blocks that you kind of need to on your ascent up to the top. Um, so my in my case, it's more like this. Now then, what we're going to do up here is you guys have a choice, and it depends how you interpret this from the episodes. So you can either fill this back to here like this and just kind of do it like this. And I always forget this sandstone. I did exit without saving, but I... Yeah, you can either do it kind of like how I've just done it here, going along, or you can do it what, in my opinion, is the right way, and I'm sure in a lot of other people's based on OCD, is to fill it in. And I think that this is more than likely what Stampy did. He had the dirt to do this, so there's no reason why. I know, yeah, one thing I need to do at the end of the episode, uh, remind me, not that you can really, but you know, there's a few things I actually do need to do, and that's show you guys the sand pit, because I think I've got that one that I showed you from the last episode pretty good now. So one, two, 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 three, two. Okay, so we're starting from here, this block here, we're gonna have one, uh, actually I think it's like one, one, two, two, three, two, wasn't it? One, one, two, two, three, two, yeah. So we're gonna have one, one, two, two, three, two, if that makes sense. So from this first one here, one, one, two two three two <laughs> just like that and then you can basically fill this in back to here as well um i did a poll actually on my server and most people are saying they want like it was very kind of nearly split between should i do these tutorials on a separate channel or should i do them on my main people are saying do them on my uh people are saying they're both but more people think do it on my main so chances are this will be on the main channel but i'll make some form of video explaining the situation if it goes anywhere else and that way people can subscribe to a various channel if they need to i don't want to because i think it will confuse people but it's how it has to be uh so if it is the case then yeah i'll let you guys know okay now we can basically do the crafting room with a love heart 
Okay, so now here here's the thing. Okay, we've got a we've got a bit of more of hill to get rid of first. Not fun. Skilly the hilly. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna grab our uh, cobblestone, which I'm gonna do this. Put that there. Okay. So this is gonna be eleven by eighteen. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 10, 11, and of course by 18. So you guys don't really need to count this because yeah. And you're gonna run into this coal vein here. This, for what I know, is completely filled with cobblestone. You can decide if you just wanna kind of do a little crappy patch job or if you wanna go the full way. Uh, I'm personally gonna go the full way just because Stamp Dealers would have needed all the resources you could get. So this is also gonna get filled in with um, cobblestone like this as well as uh, this there we go okay now we're gonna build this across and then here we're kind of just gonna build this so it's like filled in a bit uh, and this is gonna obviously line up back to here and then any kind of gaps I'm gonna fill in just because it kind of makes sense now I'll just use my my world that it's magic on this thing and so it all that like that so get out the wand that point to that point I should say cobblestone like that okay now then we're gonna go from this side where I am over here just because it's the easiest to kind of explain things from so we're gonna go over to the edge here so from the left side of the storeroom so closest like the that side of the house I guess the living living room we're gonna go skip the door of course it kind of makes sense to skip the door but you guys know what I mean uh, go around this wall and then this side we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Exactly like that and then these blocks down here. We're just gonna fill in with cobblestone because that's kind of just to I guess symbolize that hey, I was going to extend it But probably run out of materials and now I'm not going to anymore Which is fun So then for the love heart the, the one of the final things I want to show and do so we're gonna have uh, well, Let's do the terrain first. So we're gonna uh, come down to here. So this is how he did it. He kind of walked up to here, then he placed a block there. Um, let's just have a double check of this. Just so I can be sure I'm doing the right thing here. Okay. Right, so it looks like that, not that block, uh, that block is gone. Yes, that one there. So it's like three there. And then, yes. Like this. Okay, now we can do the love heart. So we're going to need, obviously, uh, grass, uh, poppies, torches, and the uh, sign. Okay, so we're going to go to the fourth block. So one, two, three, four here. Go the whole way down, and then we're going to start here. So one, two, three, four. Not like that. Like this. So two. Oh, oh my days. Sometimes building is janky with this mod. Like that, and we're gonna go two uh, diagonal to the right, and then one in the middle, like that. And then we're gonna place two torches on kind of like, I guess, as middle as you can really get on this four diagonal thing, but just one down from the one before it like curves into the, the heart shape in the top there. And then we're gonna have one torch there, and then the rest of this, we're just going to spam uh, roses or poppies or whatever you wanna call them. Um, I guess I'll call them roses, considering it is kind of fitting for the update that it's in. Um, then the sign says, of course, you can probably guess what this sign's going to say. Stampies, uh, with apostrophe S in the capital. Love, on one line, and then garden. So it's on, on three lines, this whole uh, ordeal is like that. There we go. Stampies, love, garden. Oh, I need a little heart. Sorry, really bad reaction there. Uh, Reenaction, <laughs> reaction. Yeah, that's what that's what I think. But yeah, that's basically this episode done. Now, one thing uh, I'm going to do is show the sand pit because I I'm pretty happy. I don't know why I'm going through the houses if this is literally in survival, but you know, I I obviously had to recreate this from the episode, and I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. It's turned out better than. All of the ones on the before, I'm not saying it's going to be 100%, but this is kind of how I've got it. So that block's still missing. I think the water kind of came a bit more over to here on this. And I 
don't know about this block here, but that's just how I kind of made it flow. Flows down there. Um, flows like kind of in here. And then like certain parts that I missed before, which didn't really do, I kind of did. And I guess it would probably flow a bit more like that in that section. So that's pr pretty good. So of course, when he was like fishing uh, in episode 10, he was like over here. This is pretty uh, pixel perfect to how it was. And if you guys find anything wrong, do feel free to uh, comment down below. Right, comment down below. I know that two people, Nathan Gamer Dog, and uh, I think he's called Epic Gamer Six Nine Six or something. I know he's quite like episode by episode. Um, they're quite episode by episode accurate people. So, I mean, if they have anything to say, then of course uh, comment down below. Or if you guys do as well as to say, then also feel free to do the same. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this very epic tutorial. If I do so myself. Next episode, we'll be finishing the crafting room, and uh, that there's a little creeper hole we got to do right over here, which is a bit annoying. And then in episode nine, it's the nether room and the mine, which uh, I'm going to ask um, my good friend Ben if he can um, do the mine on this world because he knows how to use Lightmatica, and that'll make it a lot easier for him to, to kind of dig everything away and do it all, which will be very, very epic. So thank you in advance if you end up doing this, Ben. Uh, so yeah, thank you also to you guys for watching the video. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Guys, guys, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot something. That was probably really, really loud. Um, but, like, we need three ladders here. I completely forgot them. I knew they were there, but I genuinely just, my mind went blank. So, that's all. Bye for now. Yeet.